Ladies and gentlemen, we have a breaking news story happening right now. Sean Booth has a surprise pregnancy announcement. He's airing this news live on his YouTube channel. We're going to go to that right now. Follow me on Instagram at dneals, patreon.com slash Dave Neal for behind the scenes bonus content. I'm actually recording this live with the Patreon. So if you want to see the behind the scenes of how these stories work, patreon.com slash Dave Neal and every afternoon bachelor rush hour, the hit podcast. If you go to my Instagram and there's a link in the comment section, you can find out my stand up show dates, Huntington Beach, 817. We have confirmed Bachelor alumni coming. Very big Bachelor alumni on that. And who knows, maybe we will also on our Seattle show, August 24th. Tickets in the link below. And let's get right into it. So here he is live premiering this news right now. Let's have a listen. Here it comes. I tell us. am going to be a dad. Congratulations. Look at his Are face. you serious? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> oh. oh, that was that such is nice. awesome, dude. Congrats. Thank you. Cool. Holy smoke. Do you feel good Holy now that you smokes. said it out loud? Yeah, it feels good. It feels good. You feel lighter? <sighs> I think the color's coming back in your face now. By the way, can we get some? Look, I'm going to open this right now. This is actually a gift for Thomas that my wife designed. But we haven't given it to Thomas yet because he hasn't done driving with Dave. Here it is, folks. Can you believe this? This might not show up with the green screen. This is a fantasy suite bib. Can you see that right there? Fantasy suites, S-W-E-E-T-S. Oh, it's a nice quality, too. How cute is that? We got the blue for boy because it's gender. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it's just that's what we got. Oh, it's very nice. Anyway. How cute is that? Uh, you can, if you want to, if you want to buy any of this merch, there's a merch store underneath the video, my video. You can you can actually order it right now. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, fatherhood. Yeah, fatherhood. December twelfth, baby booth, on their way. So you are going to have a jam packed December. If you don't know, uh, little tidbits about my friend here, Shawnee B, loves Christmas almost as much as I do. Yeah, that also takes place in December wants to be a dad more than anyone I know. Mm -hmm. That also takes place in December. But I don't know, like your pride and joy. December bike the challenge. The December bike challenge. <laughs> yeah. Nobody is hornier for a stationary <laughs> bike challenge than Sean Christopher Booth. A December bike challenge, baby. Yeah, it's happening. Gonna be a father. The mother is somebody who I've been close with for years. And um, we've had a relationship and we've dated. This just isn't some random girl I met at Honky Tonk Central. This is a big surprise for the both of us okay i mean open it's up. like it's not random but it is a big surprise hey is is having sex is having sexual intercourse a surprise sean you took those risks don't you remember the rule when in doubt pull out come on now. honestly it, this wasn't something that was planned um but it will be and is the most beautiful surprise i've ever had in my life and it's gonna be um very special um yeah, I can't wait. I'm ready. I'm 37 years old. I've always wanted to be a dad. You, I, yeah. I mean, and we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get here on the show soon. Hopefully, if she's up for it, um, when she wants to come on. Obviously, not easy for her. Um, going through pregnancy and trying to like keep it under wraps um, is obviously tricky. We didn't tell really anybody until, well, she told like her close family and friends, you know, I waited probably 10 to 12 weeks mm -hmm. to tell really anybody. Um, so it's something I was kind of just walking around with. He's like, I waited for the uh, paternity test to come through. I'm kidding. Uh, now, of course, there's going to be people speculating on who the who the mom of his child is and all that jazz. But uh, we're not going to speculate over here uh, because we don't know who it is. <laughs> not talking about it, which is crazy. Yeah, wow. Um, you know, I told a, a couple people and then told our close family and close friends those close to us know and just a couple weeks ago she started coming back to the gym i was like come back to the gym get in there like oh he's uh she's a she's a uh, client of his gym okay all right i guess that <laughs> You know, you can get one-on-one -on -one training or you can uh, also get knocked up, you know. Watch out for those elliptical machines. Let's not worry about what anybody says. And Nashville's a small town. 
you know, people talk. And so got her to come back to the gym. And yeah, after that, then everybody in Nashville knew pretty so she, much. So she comes back to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> I love the line in questioning. The guy, I love it. The producer just finds out and he's like, every one of us. So she leaves the gym. Nobody knows why. And she comes back, back I'm assuming, with a child appearing in her belly. And everyone's looking at Sean being like, uh, does she get free membership for life now? How does that work? What, let's ask HR. And so she would be what now? She's what? Four she months pregnant? 18 weeks. I don't know what that equates to in months. Almost Four. half. Okay. Halfway. So that's when you start to show. <laughs> so she halfway. comes back to the gym yeah. and everybody's like, yeah. oh my God, you're pregnant. How are people, by the way, how do people like, they're like, I'm five months pregnant and they're not even showing. I have a bowl of ramen soup and I'm showing that night. You know what I mean? Everybody's kind of looking at her like, First of all, you never and they go, ever want to ask a woman, yeah. are you pregnant? Yeah. Sure. So I do yeah. feel yeah. like it is a uh, situation. For there was sure. a lot of double takes. How about that? Like, uh, uh, uh. I mean, she's like a naturally very thin person. Yeah. So I do feel like that kind of like threw people for a second, but it's like, you never want to ask. Yeah. Can you, what if she was like, no. But also if they were friends with benefits and didn't have an, and we don't know, but if they weren't officially dating, she could have gotten knocked up by somebody else theoretically. So like, you know, who, who's Sean to know if it was his or not? Yeah. And so I'm go, coaching the class Sean. cause I wanted to, you know, make sure we did it together. And then, um, I'd asked, um, one of my coaches who's become one of my best friends, Charlie, which is such a incredible thing too is him and his wife are having a baby due about two months before us so nice. we kind of get to go through it together yeah and um so he came to the class his pregnant wife a couple other people to just kind of like support her and be there for it which is awesome and we didn't want to like i don't know how I'm supposed to go about that. There's no playbook. I don't want to be like, Hey, yeah. guess what, everybody? It's like, it gotta be super tough for her. So that was like a very big relief. And, um, yeah. So then the next step was obviously like telling the world about it, which we're doing now. And it's just a whole crazy, crazy process of, I don't know. I don't know what to think, what to feel. Sometimes I've been through every emotion, yeah. mostly like happy emotions. There's never been a point where I was like freaking out. Like really? never, never. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Like when it happened, it was like, okay. Like I had a feeling. I don't I had a weird feeling. I, I get the, why are you laughing? Because I just <laughs> wait, describe when that. it happened, I had a feeling. It's like, yeah, we know how babies are made. No, no, no. <laughs> Not that way. When a man loves a woman, when a man has a friend with benefits and he doesn't pull out. No, no, no. <laughs> that I didn't. I didn't think that that was happening. Cue all the comments. Actually, pre cum can shut up, Cheryl. I did not think that was going to happen. Um, cheers. Your, yeah, cheers to that. Um, Does Sean's sperm also do CrossFit? <laughs> you know what I mean? Are his sperm just like jacked? They've got like strong calf muscles and stuff? There was weird things that week that took place that. I had a thought in my head that she was pregnant. There was the day that we had found out I was taking some cardboard to recycling center with Walter and All right, so he's already doing I dad things. Saw a big park across the street and it was like this beautiful open field. It was like the most gorgeous day and I'm playing with Walter and I just laid like I was just on the ground for, we played for like an hour and I was just laying there with him. It was like the first like real nice day in Nashville mm -hmm. in a while. He's laying with me. Walter's dog. And I kid you not, I just turned to him and I said, Walter, I'm like, you want a brother? <laughs> I don't know why I said that. And it was the weirdest thing. I said, you want a brother? And I don't know what thought process I had or why I would say that. I was just contemplating life. Like where am I in my life? It looks like they've been practicing C-sections on Sean's knee right now. Life. Or his jeans, I should say. Um, and then I went home, and then she came over to my house. Hi, can I get some denim pants? I would like them elastic, um, tightly fit. And can I have a cesarean cut on the knee, please? Wow. I told you. Well, she didn't tell me. She didn't know yet. Oh, shit. Yeah. 
she came over with a pregnancy test. Oh, okay. And I was like, <laughs> she walked to the door. I was like, what's that? Oh my God. And she's like, I'm just going to take this because, um, just to kind of ease my mind, you Be know, careful who you think. And, um, how's that mind easing going? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then as soon as she, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like, she's pregnant. What was your first thought though? Like she came out, it was a positive pregnancy test and you were like, oh boy. Is it mine? She came out. I was sitting at the counter and I was just like, this is going to be positive. I know it. It's going to be positive. She was in the bathroom for like 10 minutes. <laughs> and then she comes down the stairs and she doesn't say anything. And she grabs the box and then goes back upstairs. Yeah. She's like, I just need to read these instructions really <laughs> closely before I come back out and talk to you. Give me one second. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And I was like, they need to have a, a pregnancy test where rather than a visual uh, response, it's actually an audio clip of Mari Povich saying, you are pregnant. And then she comes out and it was like the faintest line that you have right. ever seen in your entire life. Like, I guarantee you that's got to be the most faintest line that any pregnancy test has ever seen. <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's that's negative. She's like, that's positive. I was like, no, that's negative. I was like Googling. I'm like, see, it's negative. And then. Um, All right, look, it's 2023. Not every relationship, uh, imp not every birth starts with a couple that's happy. My mom left my dad when she was pregnant with me. So every, <laughs> you, you got to really not like somebody to be like, oh boy, I'm done with you. Uh, okay, but uh, either way, here we are. What, what you, you, you can turn out normal as far as becoming a power recapper is concerned. Is that normal? You're getting in, into content creation in your 30s? Okay, anyway, so congratulations to them. You can go watch the full episode. It's out now on his YouTube channel I'm, i've very much been enjoying the drama that's coming from sean who knew that uh several weeks into starting his own podcast he's got surprise uh birth uh, or uh, pregnancy announcements and again our merch store by the way i've committed and maybe i'll regret this but i've committed to giving 100 of the proceeds of the merchandise store to my wife because she is designing all the different graphics so if you like this by the way i will share this with you right now if you go to my channel and i'm going to go to hold on i'm going to go to my channel right here um if you go to my channel you'll actually see all of the different let's go to a video hello here. everybody so if you'll see all of the different merch signs. We have Power Listeners, Barrel Scrapers Club. You can get everything in stickers or tote bags. They come in all different things. You can put it on your stuff. Someone just ordered 16 stickers the other day, so thank you guys all so much for that. And by the way, we actually have a quick announcement. There's a member of our community that has been around since Bookshelf Dave. That's right, since the beginning, and she's actually needing some help with some medical issues. And uh, her name's Consuela. She's a good friend of our program. Help Consuela move into a a new safe home. Uh, she's had some medical debt and medical issues, and her full story is on there. Fighting serious health issues, including brain injury and you know hypo, I, you know words I can't pronounce. Point being, if anyone wants to donate, look at that. We have a thousand dollar donation already. If anyone wants to donate to her, it's going to a good person who's just trying to cope with issues that she has. So if you want to help out a fellow member of the community, that's how you can do it. Congrats, Sean Booth. I'll post a link to her GoFundMe in the comment section below, and we'll be back right after this.